Greetings everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to learn how we can install LaTeX successfully in our Windows operating system. After installing that, we can work on any kind of LaTeX project locally. So we don't need to think about the restriction in the free tier accounts in Overleap or any other relevant LaTeX related website. So as you can see, I'm using Windows 11, but if I'm not mistaken, then the same procedure is 100% applicable to other latest Windows uh, operating system as well. And it should also work in Windows 10. If it doesn't, please let me know in the comment section and I will try uh, to give you uh, any kind of solution I can get in the internet. So without any further ado, let's start. First of all, we need to make sure that we are installing uh, LaTeX locally. So, uh, first of all, we need to install MicTech. So, simply open your browser and simply search for MicTech, M-I-K-T-E-X. Uh, it's written as text, but the pronunciation is tech. So, go to the first website, which is MicTech.org, and from here, uh, click on here to download and from here select your operating system for me it is windows right now and installer simply click on download give it some time so that it can finish the downloading successfully all right uh, we have downloaded the executable file and i can simply open it you can simply double click on the executable file and it should give you this kind of installation wizard all right so simply accept the mictex copying conditions and click next and keep it as it is install mictech only for me uh, this is my personal workstation and therefore i am the only user here so this is completely fine for me uh, but if you are someone having multiple users in your computer and you want all users to be able to use this thing so you can select the second one click next keep it uh, what it is right now next and yeah it is by default good next start and simply wait for a couple of minutes so that it finishes all of the installation process it shouldn't take more than let's say two and uh two or one minute or so and then click next check for updates now yeah uh, I usually keep it as it is because after installing it, we need to make sure that we are updating some essential packages. So it is pretty helpful for me, I suppose, and you can follow me as well. So I'm simply uh, keeping this tick box here and click next. No, I don't need anything right now. So I'm simply unchecking this box and close. Now. Uh, I am in my uh, dual screen right now, so I can't show you the extended taskbar position here. Uh, but if you click there, you will see something like MicTech console. If you simply open that, you see that this is the console and it's saying me that it needs 118 packages to be updated. So I can simply click update now and it would start all of the updating process it might take longer depending on how many packages it needs to update right now and uh, how good internet speed you are getting right now so let's wait for a couple of minutes and let it do its thing all right let it continue the installation process if you're wondering what kind of wallpaper i have right now i love uh what we call it wallpaper engine yeah i have bought this wallpaper engine from steam and i like to keep different uh favorite games wallpaper or something like that in the background and that's what you are seeing right now all right so mictech console needs to be closed simply click ok and you can open it again This is the console right now updates i don't have any pending update anymore all right so it is kind uh, currently done now we need to install perl application uh, because in windows op uh, operating system perl doesn't come uh, built in so we need to use the perl uh, so that we can install some necessary build commands via our visual studio code all right so we need to install strawberry perl for this 
so you can simply search for strawberry pearl this is the one strawberry pearl for windows simply click here and yeah this is the one the latest msi version okay so simply click here and start the download all right the download has been finished so i can simply double click it to open the installation wizard simply click next i accept the terms in the license agreement yes i do next click next and install the download has been finished i can simply untick ticks and click on finish now i need to add the binary path of strawberry pearl into my windows operating systems environment variables path so i need to go to the c drive where i have installed it and here the default installation is here strawberry simply go there and go into this pearl and uh, go into this binary folder simply copy this uh, path and then simply search for env it will show you the edit the system environment variables click here uh, click environment variables click this path and click edit click new and simply paste it click ok 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 done so as we like to uh, work on our latex from visual studio code we need to install some extensions so simply open the visual studio code and go to this extensions section and simply search for latex workshop make sure that you have installed this and the last one i want to install is rewrap so simply search for rewrap and install this so here i have uh, kept one recent uh, latex project of mine so i am simply showing you how i am compiling this and working on here so this is the main latex file so let's say this is a long file sorry so let's say in line number 982 this is a very long line and it might take me forever to reach uh, in a specific segment of this line because this line is so much bigger so i need to scroll uh, here a lot so instead of doing this what i can do i can simply select it and i can simply use rewrap extension the same extension that i have installed just now uh, and the shortcut is alter and q you see it has rewrapped this entire long sentence like this so it's beneficial for me to check write and to do other stuff all right so whenever you are uh, working with latex uh, it normally starts building on its own and during this process it will uh, give you this prompt window uh, to seek your permission whether they want to install whether they can install the necessary packages or not so what i like to do i simply untick this box always show this dialog and click install because i want it to install everything it might feel necessity for this project uh, because uh, what i see normally whenever i am building a new stuff a new latex project it prompts me more than 100 or 200 times just to install 100 or 200 or more than that amount of numbers for installing different packages so it's very much trivial or uh, difficult for me to accept all of the prompt windows so i simply untick this box and click install and whenever i'm building something it will install all of them in the background so let's say i want to build this latex file what i can do i can simply click here select this and i can simply use the shortcut uh, that is ctrl shift p and i need to simply search for build build with recipe latex workshop build with recipe simply click enter and select this pdf latex bib tech pdf latex into two simply click enter and you see the build process has started simply give it uh, a couple of uh, moment or so based on how much content you have in that latex file it will build everything simply give it some time keep in mind whenever you are building a project for the first time it might take a lot of time because it needs to download a lot of packages all right but after then it shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds or minutes based on the content size all right you see 
uh, a tick marks a tick mark has appeared here and says recipe succeeded so it has successfully uh, built this entry analytic file and the output is given here another tips for you if you are coming from uh, overleaf or that kind of online based i mean website based latex application uh, then you might miss a feature and that is whenever you click on a specific segment in the output i mean in the pdf it shows you the exact portion in the code but you can do the same thing here as well so you see this is the output pdf file generated from this latex file and let's say if i simply click here uh by holding on the control key and clicking here you see it immediately shows me the exact line i have in this i mean this portion in the code and this is it so that's how you can do everything and the, here you don't have any kind of constraint time limit or something like that and it is completely free 100 percent and it's based to manage versioning uh, using github gitlab or bitbucket i like it and it is free so that's it for today i'm gonna see you in the next video